crafty peeps. Thank you for joining me for another video of DIY cork embellishments. I um, have some self-adhesive cork that I'm working with. It's pretty thin. I picked it up at Michael's. Um, you're going to need a punch for this. Any kind of punch will do that you feel like would work with the type of crafting you do. I'm just punching out one inch circles with my EK success punch. And then I'm cutting and, well, die cutting a bunch of different, um, die cuts that I'm using lawn fawn dies for because I recently got a bunch of them. You can really use whatever you have on hand but I really wanted to use these to make cork embellishments um, and my American Crafts Amy Tan one which I didn't end up showing you guys any of the ones I did with those but I did also make ones with those but like I said you guys can use whatever you want if you don't have these dies but I do recommend these dies if you are thinking of buying some dies in the future. Um, first I'm going to be showing you stamping with on cork embellishments and I'm showing you the song I'm listening to while crafting I'm jamming out to fast car <laughs> um, you know everybody has a thing they do while crafting I love to listen to music it gets my juices blowing um, so like I said we're gonna be stamping on it I'm just showing you the different ones I went ahead and die cut like and honestly you could leave them some of these like the word letters like that one is from the Amy Tan one and you could really leave them like that you wouldn't have to stamp them but um, sometimes I don't, sometimes I leave them plain, you can leave those arrows plain, but you could also paint them. So it's, I'm just showing you different techniques I use. Of course I'm pulling out my trusty Allie Edwards stamp for this, and some Colorbox Mixed Media inks, which I love those, you can pick those up at Michael's, and I have a bunch of colors because they're really good for this type of technique. You really need a pigment ink that's thicker, you can't really um, use dye inks, for, you can but they don't work very well and you don't see them very well. And right now I'm masking something off with that post-it tape you guys know I love if you watch my videos. Um, so that I can just get the circle that I want instead of getting the arrow as well because it's like fits perfectly with the one inch but the, I don't just have a circle with that line and technically I could paint it you guys because I'm good at freehanding but I decided for the sake of this technique I would just show you um, how to do it this way in case you're not good at freehanding things um, and I just used a brown pigment ink and then I'm using a red color box pigment ink and they work perfectly together and look how cute yay so that's one technique you can stamp and there's endless possibilities with this and I'm showing you some that I made earlier um, and those I all free handed with a paintbrush um, and some acrylic ink so I'm just showing you um, how to also use acrylic ink so maybe if you don't have pigment inks or you do but you just want to try something different and I'm mixing around that paint because it was all like meh inside the bottle <laughs> I ended up painting the star off the camera because I'm kind of a dodo as you can see I did leave an edge on the side of the star so you could still see the cork even though I painted it because I didn't want it to lose the aspect of like being cork. Um, I also tried not to layer on the paint too thickly because I still wanted to be able to see kind of the cork showing through slowly. Um, then I'm using that Sweet Shop stamp set um, and I'm just wanting to use uh, a darker brown which is the one I used to stamp the darker circle as well. And um, I just kind of wanted to have it say something, so I decided to go with uh, the pretty. And then you're going to see me also stamp the next sentiment. Amazing. And then after that, I felt like I still needed something, so I decided to also use another stamp from the same uh, stamp set line from Sweet Shop. And I masked off because I just wanted one of the little itty bitty squares, which I could have also, like I said, painted it, but I wanted to show you how easy it can be to just mask something off and just stamp it. And you just throw away the excess and voila. That's why I love that post it tape. It's like, really, I use it for so many things. I die cut with it. And look how cute that is. I love that star shape. It reminds me of Mario Brothers. Um, <laughs> And then now I'm using some burnt umber acrylic ink, which I picked up at Joann's, I believe, a while back. And I'm just going to create like a little border around that star. And um, yeah, like it didn't end up being as dark as I wanted it to, so I kind of mixed the bur burnt umber with the black. I don't know if it's because I've had it for a while, but it just wasn't as dark as I expected it to be. And if you guys think that this star looks like the one from Mario Brothers, leave me a shout out in the comments, because I can't be the only one who thinks this. Um, and now I am painting, freehanding, um, the little circle that I showed you that has the dishware or dinnerware on it because um, I wanted to show you if you get a fine tipped brush which honestly you could probably use an even finer tip than what I'm using because a finer tip would work better in this situation 
but how easy it is to just kind of make your own like foodie flair or you know different embellishments out of cork I just think it's so much fun to kind of like use your own stuff on a page and feel like proud like hey I made that you know and I've seen a lot of the new Studio Calico ones that have come out and they're super cute and I would totally still like buy them um, but it would also but to me it's also fun to see if I can make something just as similar without having to buy it because to me that's what crafting is it's just kind of showing like you can make your own things with what you have on hand so I hope you guys will try this and if you guys like this video um, please be sure to let me know I freehanded that circle so as you can see it's really not that hard you guys um, I'm also going to be showing you how you can use uh, coordinating dies and stamp sets which I'm using my lawn fawn one again this one recently came out I love that map stamp I can't even stress that enough and I decided to stamp it on pigment ink and with white and I figured I would just color in whatever states I've been to this year because I really want to use this map um, in my project life um, as one of the main focal points in uh, one of the 4x6 cards and I just decided to go with like neon -y colors to fill in what states I've been to this year including the state I live in which is Florida and um, I'm just using basically favorite colors of mine I love everything neon, aqua aqua-y, I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> and pink, and even like that bright tangerine orange, so I love vibrant colors, so I thought it would be fun to do it like that, and my project life is full of aqua and pink and vibrancies, so I figured I would do it with similar colors, knowing that I'm going to use this in the possible future. Um, and then I just showing you the stuff I die cut and just for the record you guys I actually used uh, my EK success powder tool on the back of that map stand later on just to keep it flatter um, because, so that it would be easier to stamp so that's just a little trick anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this I will be stamping that globe later on my own I might show you guys um, and thanks you guys so much for watching be sure to thumbs up and like my videos love you